Now we're going to Q and A Q&A session. Our first question is going to be for Anur, um, and it's from George, and it says, "What would you say is the closest deployed work in terms of cyber resistant record placement? Are there any aspects specific specifics to this application that require the adoption of different mechanisms?" We are not aware of any um, other work that are that are cyber resistant in an open decentralized system like Ethereum, uh, work that uh, places records um, on other nodes. There's only the, the current deployed discovery system, which is based on a random walk approach. We also evaluate the built-in DHT approach where you route to the closest uh, nodes, the nodes that are closest to the topic hash, and then you register or you look up there. How often in your eval would a consensus instance get block hash from the primary without mempool delivering all messages in the block? This would delay the consensus protocol, I presume. And then the following one was Tusk reminds me somewhat of Hedera hash graph. Any comparison? For the first question, uh, one sentence answer is, uh, so the primary um, sends the certificate as they come to the consensus, but they run the same machine because the consensus just interprets the DAG. So there is no delay there. However, the primary creates the header either every 200 milliseconds or when it got uh, about one kilobyte worth of hashes. That's about 33 hashes. Uh, those are configurable parameters. For the second question, the difference with hash graph, uh, there are uh, many actually. Um, the difference pretty much tops that we both use a, uh, a DAG. Um, our DAG is structured. Uh, every header links to 12 plus one certificates of the previous round, not of any round. And also, uh, we have a DAG of certificates, which guarantee availability. Um, that's not the case of Ashgraph and others. Question on your mitigation slide. I think it said something like, no eviction of valid transaction that transforms existing valid transaction into invalid. This may be obvious to others, but could you clarify what that might look like? So on, on this case, um, we mean that um, uh, when you evict valid transaction, um, there is a chance that uh, this valid transaction can transform other existing valid transactions into uh, invalid transactions. Uh, for instance, uh, in our previous example, if um, uh, let's say you have a transaction with nonce one, transaction with nonce two, e if that transaction with nonce one, that will make uh, the other transaction a future transaction, um, right? So this sort of creates a future transaction um, out of the blue. And uh, in our case, we also prevent that from happening. Uh, did you look at this problem before the bug bounty or the bug bounty made you look at the problem and how interested are web three bug bounties for, for academic groups? So I can speak uh, on behalf of my case. I think a bug bounty is really, really helpful um, in terms of, let's say, encouraging students to do, um, to look at the code and find problems over there. We first read the um, uh, Ethereum source code first and do um, all kinds of um, brainstorming. Uh, we did find problems. And then we ventured out um, to um, interact interact um, with, um, let's say, program managers on those bug bounty. Uh, they are really helpful in terms of um, uh, how severe the problem is, uh, how much broader impact the problem is, and that they're also um, really responsive in terms of um, uh, coming up with uh, quick fixes um, to protect their system. So that I, uh, to me, I think this is a really uh, very useful and helpful uh, platform for academia to um, get uh, to support or um, to promote their research and uh, deploy their research um, uh, with production software. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for your insight very much. I, th I think it's a very useful tool and we are looking into deploying uh, across Web3 communities, right? Uh, this on a, on a larger scale, I would say. So I think this will be one of the topics of discussions tomorrow. So uh, yeah, that was my question. Thank you so much.